And what I want to work on is some behind the neck work, which changes us from something that looks like a front rack shape to a little bit more in this hang archetype shape. So, you know, so if you see people do face pulls, for example, fine. I mean, not my strongest position, but what we're doing is we're going from a long lever front rack shape to a short lever sort of mid-range hang archetype shape. So going from shape to shape is why that still makes sense and why you see it in the language there, right? Pressing from behind the neck is not going to be my strongest press. Pressing the plane of scaption will be my strongest press. But still being able to develop force out here effectively is important, right? So it doesn't translate as effectively to the things I care about. And certainly doing handstand push-ups out here is, is not going to be great. But what we've got here is a chance to figure out how to create a stable shoulder in this shoulder configuration. So what I'd like to do for warm-up today is we're going to start by just doing some strict barbell press from behind the neck, figuring out how to create stability off that object. And that's really the ultimate goal, so that when I'm playing or grabbing, I can grab someone and create stability off it. I can grab, I can grab my mountain bike. Whatever it is, I know how to grab something and create a stable shoulder system off it. That's ultimately the goal, not did I move the weight. So we'll start from behind the neck. We'll warm up with some pressing. And then we'll just add that dip to it, where we're working on making sure that we can compress evenly through the foot to press. And what I should see is the elbow path, specifically behind the neck, should really look the same. So this, as we transition into jerking, what I should see, because I'm gonna, we're making this such a simple movement by moving it to here, is that ultimately I should see no flare. So whether I'm strict pressing, whether I'm push pressing, whether I'm push jerking, it doesn't, behind the neck push jerk, my elbow flare should remain constant because most people have access to this position. What's interesting is when I start to challenge that shape and we go from fr strict press to push press to push jerk, we start to see that the elbow, because the, the position is a little bit more challenging, the elbow starts to become the cue like the knee. And it starts to, we start to see compensation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna warm up Easy barbell, getting hot and sweaty. We'll do some jump roping first. We're just gonna press, some strict press, into a little push press, into some push jerks, just to work on getting shoulders hot. We'll take, we'll do a, some sets of 10 each position, play around with that, feeling, being aware of what's it look like to be able to drive and create rotation through range. Then let's move that to the front rack. Empty barbell, press adding a push press, adding a push jerk. And again, as we watch each other, let's make sure that the elbow is the canary in the coal mine and that we're being, paying attention to keeping that flare from happening and certainly keeping that flare from happening early. Does that make sense? Because that's a cue that we're losing rotation. Here, I'm mechanically stable. Why? Because if I grab anyone, put them into this position, eventually the shoulder stops. She's at her end of her tissue range. So all she's really doing is pushing up against her own tissue range. Right here, because we have much more availability in the shoulder and more options in the shoulder, we're gonna have to have higher motor control demands and that's why that gets trickier. Does that make sense? No wonder we like to press the dumbbells out here and never quite go overhead. Welcome to every gym in America. Right? I don't actually have to do any work here. I'm just hanging against the wall of my own tissue and trying to use that as a guiding pathway. Right? It's like doing handstand push-ups on the wall. You're like, how impressed are you? The same way I'm doing air squats against the wall, not that impressive. Right? Motor control is, is the goal here.